Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video and next few videos, we are going to discuss how to create a Spring Boot application step by step in different ways. A Spring Boot had been built for rapid application development. Uh, in this video, we will learn how to create a Spring Boot application using uh, some easy example. We will focus also on how to deploy a Spring Boot application on Tomcat, Jetty and some other server as well. Uh, we are going to uh, here uh, are the following topics that we will cover in this series. First of all, we will uh, see how to uh, create a Spring Boot application using simple Eclipse Maven based project. Then we will see how to make use of a, something is called a, a Spring uh, sorry, uh, yeah, a Spring Initializer. Uh, something is called uh, a Spring Initializer. So this is the URL start dot spring dot io, and if you go to this uh, website, then that provides very nice UI. And there you can select uh, like uh, uh, you can create a. Uh, this is the best way of uh, basically bootstrapping a Spring Boot application uh, is by using a Spring Initializer. So that also we'll see. Uh, Finally, we'll see how to create a Spring Boot application using STS. So STS is very similar to Eclipse and uh, we'll download Eclipse uh, from a Spring Boot website and we'll uh, make use of STS and we'll create a Spring Boot uh, based application. And we are also going to see, uh, we are also going to see how to make use of the command line interface to run a, a Spring Boot application, right? Uh, and uh, finally, we'll see uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to see how to run uh, basically a, a, a Spring Boot application using uh, using Eclipse itself, right? So let's get started. So here I'm going to, I'm, everything I'm going to start from the scratch. So I go to the C drive and here I'm going to create a Spring Boot work a space just i have created a folder and inside this folder i am going to create a, a spring boot workspace so let's go to the e drive and e drive uh, i have a folder is called tomcat and here i have eclipse mars so i am going to use eclipse mars to create a spring boot first application right so now i am going to specify i am going to specify this location is spring boot, boot workspace and Eclipse will take few seconds in processing and workspace will be created. Now workspace has opened and here is the layout you can see. And uh, let's click on the file and go to the new and here we have a different option. One of the options is called Maven project. So let's click over here. So my machine is a little slow. So now you have a checkbox so let's select this checkbox saying that create a simple project a skip arc type selection so i'm not going to select the any kind of arc type everything i'll all dependency i'm going to uh, uh, add in pom.xml manually so now click on the next and here when you uh, when you have worked on the maven based project then you might be familiar with so if you create a maven rest project then you need to specify the group id artifact id group id is very much similar to the uh, project uh, package name right so package name i'm going to specify com.infotech.app and artifact name this is very much similar to the project name itself so i would say hello world hello world the spring boot something like this right and rest of the things i'm not going to add any kind of parent over here everything i'm going to leave as it is and packaging will just i'm going to leave as a, a jar file itself jar itself click, click, click on the finish now here project is created and you can see the uh, maven based project architecture right uh, folder folder hierarchy so you have a uh, you have a folder is called src slash dot slash main so here we are going to create any java resources so let's create a first java resource in the package com dot info tape dot app and here i'm going to create a 
uh, class uh, basically uh, which is uh, considered as a bootstrapping class in a, a Spring Boot and this class name I'm going to specify uh, hello world uh, a spring boot app something like this and let's click on the finish and uh, especially uh, let me increase the font size go to the windows preferences uh, type here font you have a colors and fonts option now click expand basic and select this text font click on add it now select bold as your font style and size as 14 click on the ok apply ok so now it seems to be better now this class i'm going to annotate as a, a spring boot application a spring boot application and this is the one of the important annotation in uh, sorry guys you will not get auto support because we haven't added maven dependency i mean all uh, uh, we haven't added any kind of a spring a spring boot dependency in rpom.xml so here first of all i'm going to add a tag is called parent so first of all you need to add a parent so and here parent will have a something is called group id uh, artifact id as well as version you need to add a version so so group id most of the i mean spring boot uh, dependency will have a uh, almost sim same group id and that is uh, called r dot spring framework dot boot so this is the group id and artifact id we are going to specify a spring hyphen boot hyphen starter starter uh, starter hyphen parent parent and version we are going to specify the latest stable version that is 5.5 5. 5. Uh, sorry 1.5.4 release we will have to open release R E L P S. Okay, so parent we have added. Now we are going to add some dependencies. Inside dependencies, we will have to add dependency tag basically. And dependency tag we are again going to add group ID as well as artifact ID. But here we are not going to specify any kind of uh, any kind of version because a spring boot is very smart a spring boot knows what kind of uh, uh, jars uh, have to download it for the uh, to create a, uh, a standard web based application right so let's save this guy let's see what is saying that 1.5.4 missed out missing 4 now here you can see by default when I created a Mavenous project then JDK 1.5 has been added but if you create a, uh, a, a Maven based project then uh, sorry a Spring Boot uh, based project then a Spring Boot uh, supports JDK 1.6 and above so here I am going to specify the Java version Java dot version and Java version I am going to specify the latest version 1.8 that is the latest a stable version of the java and let's call it. so almost all kind of dependency we have added so here basically we are going to create a simple restful web services which will print a uh, hello world on the browser that's it and now you can see the some error right so when we have created a maven based project so there is showing some error in the class pass so right click on the project and here here you have an option is called maven and select this opt option update project and click on the ok so and after certain while you'll we'll see this error will go away so now okay so most of the error has gone but one of the error is showing because of this uh, right so let's now add a spring 
boot application connotation on the before this class bootstrapping class okay so now this bootstrapping class is having a main method and in this main method i'm going to use a class uh, it's called a spring application and a spring application is having a method it's called run which takes two parameter first is the class itself this dot class and second is the uh, command line argument itself and we are done with this now next thing we are going to select create a, a rest controller restful controller so here package name we are going to see com dot infotech dot app dot controller and class name i'm going to rest full controller class i'm going to hello world controller right and let's click on the finish and here this class i'm going to annotate as at the rate rest controller so spring boot will register this class as a rest controller and this here i'm going to add a one uh, a method right which will return a, a string let's say this is hello and this is going to return a simple string with a message is called hello what okay and this method the method basically which is uh, basically responsible to expose a uh, hello world message to the outside of the world as a restful so that i am going to annotate as a at the rate request mapping and url i'm going to specify as a value equal to slash so whenever uh, anybody hits a base url of this application then uh, that guy should able to see this message on the url right this is pretty straightforward very simple application a spring boot application we have created right and that's it and uh, <laughs> A Spring Boot basically comes with the, some embedded server, right? So uh, a, 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 that uh, a Spring Boot basically uh, comes with the by default Tomcat as a uh, embedded server, right? So here we have a Bootstrap class. Uh, let me refresh this project. Okay. So here we have a controller in another package, and we have a Bootstrap class. So let's let's run this Bootstrap class and once we run this bootstrap class just just like run as a java application we'll have to run this class then you can see the uh, console in console a lot of things says here this is logo of a spring boot and saying that version 1.5.4 release that we had mentioned in the pom.xml and here you can see a lot of a uh, uh, lot of basically you can see few uh, basically uh, URI ha has been mapped with the some resources, some uh, RESTful resources has, has mapped with this some URI and uh, one of the uh, re uh, resources which we have defined in the hello world uh, controller that is also getting loaded right and uh, here you can see the Tomcat server is starting on the default port 8080 so let's go to the browser and here I will type HTTP colon uh, slash slash localhost uh, colon 8080 that is the, that's the tomcat port number slash and here you don't need to specify your project name so that's the b spring framework uh, spring boot works and it, once you press enter then you can see hello world message you are able to see on the uh, browser right so so that's the thing i wanted to cover in this video tutorial in this video tutorial what we have done we have created a maven based project and in pom.xml basically we have added java version so so as i said spring boot works uh, jdk 1.6 and our version so i have added 1.8 and uh, you can see a parent we have added a parent dependency that means our project is the parent of this project right a spring boot project and while specifying the parent you have specified the group id uh, artifact id right and you have specified the uh, version as well so spring framework no so that's all i have in this video tutorial thanks for watching